everyone. This is our second uh, meditative drawing session and we are doing a Keith Haring inspired picture. You can pick your own colors that you would like to use for it. Um, the theme for the Linton resources we're using for the week is service or serving and um, the book that we are reading is Is There Really a Human Race by Jamie Lee Curtis. So let's get right to work. All right, let's start by doing the line down the middle like we did last time, very light, as light as you can so that uh, you can erase it when you're done and the line across the middle going vertical and horizontal. And now I'm gonna start by drawing the head. And his arm comes out. And down. Keith Herring did not do male or female. He didn't do um, he did not do hands. It was very simplified people to sort of, I think, part of the message was of our common humanity. We're all basically the same if we just allow ourselves to be seen that way. I think that was part of his message. Um, those of you who are adults, I didn't like that. I'm starting over. Um, I didn't get the angle quite right. Um, those of you who are adults, maybe, who are doing this or with your kids, remember Keith Haring as being a activist and he started out as a street artist, which is pretty cool. That's too long. And then became popular and sort of became sort of a symbol for AIDS and AIDS research in the in the U.S. Now I'm going to come down the line. Here's the middle line. It comes a little bit down and do his body on the first guy. When you guys pick your colors for these, you can pick, obviously, any colors you want. Sometimes it's nice to use uh, sort of contrasting colors. And like I did uh, the red and the blue as the primary colors, the people, and then... You can use secondary colors for the bottom and the top, but whatever ones you like. Uh, you could use purple on the top, green on the bottom, orange, whatever. So now I'm going to do the second person's head. It comes out the side, the arm, comes down. And his body comes down, his body comes on this side. He's a little bit more rounded, his legs come down. I'm going to scoot this over a little bit. All right, now we're going to go the arm around the back. That's kind of tricky come up and down like that. And this part's easy, it's just sort of a half moon on the back. And then we come down. I'm gonna move it over a little. Gotta make room for that arm. Now the red guy's arm is gonna come out. Like that. And that is pretty much the drawing. 
Now, go back in and erase all the extra lines. And remember, yours is gonna look different than mine. That's cool. It's your own interpretation. But I love the fact that the people are embracing each other. And I think that's sort of the message of the book, if you read it today, um, is there really a human race? It's about, are we really racing to beat each other? Or should we take care of each other? I think Jamie Lee Curtis's message is we should all be taking care of each other, not racing. All right, so there they are, they're drawn. So now, um, it, with this particular one, I used a thick marker to do the outsides. I colored first, so I'll start. I'm gonna do the sky blue. I, like I said last time, I like colored pencils over crayons because I feel like I have more control over them. They, um, but you have to make sure you don't have any peekaboos. The art teacher at Morley says that, that means any white spaces poking through. The bad part about colored pencils, if you're using them, is they break, which is super annoying. I also find um, I have a hand-operated uh, pencil sharpener for colored pencils that is way better than a pa an electric one. Electric pencil sharpeners, because colored pencils are so soft, seem to just eat up the colored pencils. You just never, never, uh, you get one, sh it just breaks right after it, after you sharpen it. So it's not my favorite. Also, like I said last time, try and, unless you're trying to produce some kind of a texture in, in your picture, try to maintain going the same direction. That will, give, ah, my pencil just broke. That will give a smoother finish. I have another one, so it's close enough color. So we're gonna color this all in. I'm not gonna finish it because otherwise you guys will get bored watching me color. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. Then I take my red, color in my red guy. Also, another thing, I didn't mention this last week, but uh, the good paper makes a big difference in your, in your art. If you have better paper, the paper I'm using is a watercolor paper, but it, it, it can be used for watercolors or drawing. Um, because if you use just like paper that comes out of your copier, printer paper, the regular kind of weight, it's so thin that it's easy to rip it or break it when you're coloring. Okay, so here I am coloring my red guy. No, no, I'm not gonna finish it. I'm just gonna show you. There you go. Okay, so after I get my two guys completely colored, or you get yours completely colored, then you go in in the background. Um, I did this pink on the bottom. Another thing with coloring pages, coloring, the, the more uh, you fill up a page, the better the art looks. Color the top to the bottom. And if that means making your picture smaller, make your picture smaller. It's, it's uh, if your hand gets tired or you get to where you're not interested in doing it anymore, make a small picture first. Those are, can work out great. Okay, so if I finished up my coloring in, right? And then I would take my, I like Sharpies. Just, this one is a super permanent, but you don't need that. Any one will work. This, what they call the medium, I believe it's medium width. Is that what this is called? Yeah. 
um, works great for this. Keith Haring used a very thick um, uh, lines on his, so that's why I picked this. So you're gonna do, line it in a very thick marker. The theme this week, if you are doing the the uh, Linton Resource Program is serve. We at St. James do a lot of different ways we serve. We have a, what, six different kinds of feeding ministries and um, we have a lot of ways we serve and take care of people. And that's really a big part of what it is to be a Christian is to take care of each other, right? That's to be a, just a genuinely good human being. Take care of one another. All right, so here's my line that separates the ground from the top. And then I'm gonna go in, I used ovals to kind of give texture. So the way I do it is I space, like I go down, up, down, up, down, up, and then I start the same. Up, down, up, down, up. So it spaces them out without um, having to measure and stuff like that. So. All right, I'm gonna show you how I did the the uh, sort of, I don't know what you call them, sunbeams maybe over their head because that is a little different. So I started with a pencil and I counted them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 15. So I start, I start in the middle. So I did this one. I look at that one's a little bit longer. And then this one. And this one's shorter. This one's longer. This one's shorter. Longer. Shorter. See that? I goofed up. I just erased it. Longer. Okay. All right. Now I took my pen because the First I tried just putting the Sharpie on and it wasn't thick enough. So then I go back through and I line them with the Sharpie. If you are using a Sharpie, make sure your paper is thick enough that it doesn't bleed through onto whatever you're working on underneath or put a piece of paper underneath it. All right, throw these in. Okay, after you finish all your pictures and coloring, then you are done. All you have to do then is I take my eraser, I let it dry a little bit, make sure the Sharpie's dry before I start, and then I take my eraser and go back in and erase any of the pencil lines that might have be showing throughout, okay? When you're finished, look like this one. I hope you enjoyed that. I love drawing I, and I love coloring. I find it really relaxing. Two of our friends sent me pictures of their art last week and it was great. And we, started, we showed them on Facebook. We shared them with the rest of the congregation and I'm sure people enjoyed it. If you do this drawing and would be willing to share it with me. We would love to see your work. So we're gonna end with a prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Gracious God, you know us, you see us, and you hear us. You delight in our delight. Thank you for giving us chances to celebrate one another and to share our joy. Amen. Bye-bye.